The biggest change in Logos 4.5 is how notes and highlighting work. In 4.5, highlighting is integrated into and accessible through note documents for easier editing and future sharing capabilities. For example, when making a highlight for John 1.1, a note item is created along with the selection you highlight. To add content or a note indicator to your highlight, go to the highlighted reference. Since the note item is created by making a highlight, you'll see a square box with a line through it, meaning there is no note indicator visible in the text. If you want to add one, click on the box and choose from the shapes and colors listed below. Next, you can add content to the box below to appear with the indicator. The note indicator now appears in addition to your highlight. Hover over the indicator to see both the note and the name of the highlighting color palette used for the note item. When looking for individual notes and highlights, it's important to know which note document they are saved in if you want to edit them later. Since this one is saved under Solid Colors, you would go to File, Solid Color Notes. If no location is selected before creating a highlight, Logos will automatically create a note document based on the color palette. Highlights and content can be saved to these automatic note documents in palette-specific note file or moved to a different note file location of your choice. Just click on the palette title and save it to a new note file location. To remove a highlight, select the text and click the Erase button. If no content is associated with your highlights, the note item is erased entirely from your notes file list. However, if you've added content to the note item, it will remain in the document and be set to no highlight when you click on the erase button. Since the highlights will no longer appear in the text, it's advised that you add a note indicator if you do not want to forget the note exists. For more information, please visit www.logos.com forward slash support.